Ghost Hunting in New England, your favorite spooky podcast. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to this week's episode of Ghost Hunting in New England with your host, Amelia. And Beth. And today we are talking about some cool stuff. So I know at the end of last week's episode, we said we were going to dedicate this episode to EVPs. We were going to have our friend Walter come in and talk to us about us. Unfortunately, in true Ghost Hunting in New England style, uh, that (laughs) isn't happening. So um, so we're rolling with it. We're rolling with it. We're rolling with the punches. So we are going to go over some EVPs today. We are going to do some of the drive-by ghostings, uh, not the kind you think of now in the world of Tinder, but actual ones where people come through and just tell us a little snippet about a ghost story they have. Um, but you can look forward to our next podcast, Ghosting, Why Is Everyone an Asshole? <laughs> <laughs> where we find people who have ghosted you. <laughs> I think Amelia might have some baggage going on there. (laughs) Amelia's not having a great day. Okay. We are going to begin tonight with Walter, who that's not his name. And he has decided we can now use his real name. So Walter, a.k.a. Matt, he has a really cool EVP. He sent it to me a few months ago. Um, It's always on my phone. Beth knows that when we've talked to other paranormal investigators, I've um, played it a few times. A lot of people have different feelings about it. And I took a bullet for our listeners. He was unable to come in here. Possibly a silver bullet. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) He wasn't able to come in here, but uh, last night, a bunch of people were out, and they were like, hey, Amelia, you want to come? And at 10.30 last night, I showed up at a bar to get an exclusive interview about this EVP, so... With Matt Walter, Walter, Matt. <laughs> whoever, whoever he is. Who, yeah, he is. <laughs> whoever he is. Him and uh, Arthur, and so we have that coming to you. You know, I didn't get... <laughs> any sleep and i've been hung over all day but that's what we do because we go out and we try to get the interviews that count so we're gonna start out with the interview also we're kind of limited by the amount of time that we can get in the podcasting studio so since this was booked amelia didn't plan ahead properly (laughs) yeah i think what we need to do is we need to just stop saying we're definitely doing stuff on the next episode until we <laughs> definitely know what we're doing it. yeah because <laughs> that's, that's the thing is like it's thursday night and this is going to go out next wednesday so you guys are all going to hear this and last night's episode came out already what did we do oh last week we did will fox we had an interview with him so and oh my gosh what a great episode that was that, that was... was really really good i really and i've listened to it like four times already um we've gotten so many people have said so much cool stuff about it so um, thanks again to Will. That was great. Many thanks to Will, who made it as great as it was. So here, though, we have from Walter Matt, Matt Walter. Here's the interview. Now, like I was saying, this is like an exclusive ghost hunting in New England interview. So we don't do it like everyone else. This is an interview done around midnight outside of a bar, and it's <laughs> not our highest audio quality. But we got the deets. So here they are. Hey guys, this is Amelia, and I'm out here in Teak Ferry tonight with Matt and Arthur, and we're here <laughs> to talk about an EVP they got. So guys, how long ago did you catch this EVP? It was probably about four or five years ago. Maybe maybe a little bit longer. Okay, exactly. and where did you find it? Uh, St. Mary's Cemetery in Tewksbury. Okay, and so give me the rundown. Why were you guys there? We were drunk. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah, honest. no, we, we were drunk, and we decided, hey, we're going to go to the cemetery yeah, to this girl like, go, go uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna go to a cemetery in Tewksbury and I knew that uh, what's more fun than being drunk and ghost hunting right amen there you go yeah amen <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen okay so um did you know anyone buried in the cemetery uh not very well but vaguely Okay. Uh, there was a girl that we went to high school with named Megan. I will not disclose her last name. Perfect. Um, but she she died when when we were in high school. And uh, on a whim, we just decided to go to the cemetery and, and, and do some rather dumb things. Like 
talking to dead people and stuff okay, like that. Like so we just we recording an EVP. Okay. So Adi, Adi stayed in his in his truck, the old piece of shit that he had for a truck, and uh, we went and I, I pulled out my audio recorder on my phone and I just started rambling off, you know, anybody here, this and that, and uh, I, I ended the the session. And sure enough, we got back in the in the, in the truck, or I got back in the truck, and we listened to it, and we heard one of the more creepy voices we've ever heard. And it's interesting too, because it's right at the end of the EVP. It's the very, and, and you can hear throughout the entire EVP, like the audio going in and out. Yes, and I've listened to the whole thing, it's, and that's what it's, it sounds it's, like. It's, it's 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 one of those things where you. It freaks you out when you hear it. Mm -hmm. Still to this day, it was that long ago, and I listen to it now, and it gives me chills. So what was your reactions when you heard it? um, So I threw up on my stuff. I'm just kidding. (laughs) I I thought it was really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I was also very worried because of the tone of the voice that something might follow me home. Okay. Because if you listen to it, it's not a very nice voice. Right. Um, And we're going to play it on the podcast. Okay. Uh, you sent it to me. I have it on my. Can phone. we do like the last maybe fifteen seconds yeah, of that? Okay, not yeah, because the, the rest of it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. On both well, sides. If, uh, no. if you listen, to, if you listen to it, you hear the audio going in and out. You hear the static, but when Matt starts talking, you can hear his voice cut over, mm-hmm. and it's cut over, and it says, "Megan." And it was, uh, neither of us could, you know, I, I could do anything to my voice and never be able to re- replicate that sound. You know? Okay, so one thing, because I've, Matt sent it to me a while ago, and I've showed it to other paranormal investigators, and one thing people say is that could it be you putting your phone in your pocket? Absolutely not. No, I had my phone in my hand the entire time. And now, even if I did put it in my pocket, Mm -hmm. so it wouldn't... You can hear, like, the last, like, 30 seconds of that EVP. Yes. You can hear those noises coming in and out. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't take me 30 seconds to put my phone in my pocket. Correct. So, you know, I I could get why people would think that, but no. My argument with that would be just the tone. The voice. The frequency of... The noise of sliding a phone into a pocket is not the frequency of that voice that was recorded. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That would if, be if, my you, if you actually look at the frequency of that, that EVP, you hear me and, you know, the frequency gets bigger. And then when it comes to that, when those sounds happen, the thing doesn't even move. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe towards, like, the very, very end of it. But once you hear that voice, it's so small. Like, and it was that it's, loud. It was, it was so deep. And, but the thing is, is it was that loud of a voice, like on the recording, for the, I don't know, for the, what do you call that, the sound bar, I guess you could call it, sure. for that to move such a little bit, such a little mm-hmm. amount, and to be that loud, it's, I don't know, there was definitely something there, and it was a rather frightening voice. I'll put it this way, I cried. He did. I'll be honest. I oh, cried. you know what? Really, when, 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 when you when you when you had said what was your reaction to the video, to the the uh, EVP, I was not going to say that Arthur cried. I was going to say that we were both freaked out and took off. But now that you said it, I will say that Arthur legitimately cried. Absolutely. And uh, it was it was pretty frightening. Well, um, so when we replayed it, he replayed it in the truck, and you could hear the static and everything. I heard it. I heard the voice say Megan initially. Yeah. You did not. And I was like, oh, my God, did you hear that? And he was like, no. So we replayed it again, and you you heard it. Yeah. And I was like, we're getting the F out of here. We're done. I'm not doing this. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what? To, to, to put it this way, at the, the level of intoxicated that we were, for us to realize it at that point and hear it mm-hmm. and understand what was going on, we that's that's saying something. I mean, we, we booked it. Cool. We were like, oh, cool. nope, we're going. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. No. All Goodbye. right. Goodbye. Anything else? Um, this is a great podcast. I love it. Wow. So that was our interview. That, that was a very interesting interview.
that's that's what we deliver here. Interesting, I, interesting interviews that inform us. I, I especially liked when the car started in the middle and drove away from you guys. <laughs> I told you we were outside of a bar. Right. It was <laughs> it was a very authentic Boston interview. Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> Matt has an accent. <laughs> Definitely has an accent. Should we – you want to talk about the interview or you want us to go straight to the EVP? So Matt said a couple of things in his interview that I thought were interesting – um, and we've kind of talked a little bit about in previous episodes as well. And one of them was this idea of like the the spirit there following you home. Hmm. And I mean, we talked about that with Will last week. That was something that we had talked about a little bit at the Powder House investigation. And that's one of the things that I'll, I'll probably say this 10,000 times really frightens me about doing some of these things that it's like, I don't want whatever this is coming home with me. I'm perfectly happy in my home without all of those extra spirits, um, and I want them to remain where they started. So I thought it was very um, enlightening that Matt, as a you know big, strong, manly man, um, it was also like, oh, I'm a little afraid this thing's going to come home with me. And last week I had asked Will, um, almost like as a joke, like, you know, well, did you cry when the thing touched you? Like, did you scream and run away? Like, and he was like, no, no, of course I didn't. You know. And it's interesting because I said on that, well, yeah, Beth, he's a veteran, like, whatever. But Ar- so is Arthur. And and there's Arthur, who's just, like, so overcome with whatever. He didn't specify the emotion that he felt there. Um, so I'm just going to go with overcome. That he freely admitted that he cried when he heard it. Uh, yeah, I think I would probably have cried, too, sitting there drunk next to a cemetery and hearing that spooky-ass voice, wondering if maybe if it was coming home with me. Those were my two main reactions that I, I got out of that. Okay, so now I think we should debut the EVP. Yes, this is the world premiere of world premiere of of Walter Matt's EVP from Arthur with Arthur from the creepy cemetery, St. Mary's in Tewksbury. Here we go. I'm gonna so I'm gonna play it for you guys twice. Here we go. Okay, well, we're leaving now. Rest in peace. That light over there keeps changing from green to red. Oh, wait, am I right? We love yous. Okay, so Beth, you want us to hear it again? Sure. Let's do it one more time. Red. Oh, wait, am I right? We love yous. What are your thoughts? All right. So the very first time I heard it, I did not think it said Megan. Mm -hmm. This time, the first time you played it, I still didn't think it said Megan. Mm -hmm. But the second time I did hear Megan. So here it is in a slowed down version. wild i know right yes i'm not exactly sure what it is i think that it's saying when it's not saying megan Mm -hmm. but i feel like i only think that it says megan because you and walter slash matt slash arthur keep telling me it says megan for me i definitely hear megan i also and like we said in the interview with them like a lot of people are like well couldn't that just be their hands moving couldn't be something else like that but right before the voice comes on, you get these like it, it's almost like a radio noise or something mm-hmm. that you yep. hear. Like it like it was in and out. And when you listen to the full thing, which we're not gonna play the full thing because it's very long, um, the audio does go in and out, which is interesting. I think it says Megan. So Matt's thing Matt is spooky. Matt is definitely spooky. And um his thing with the EVP, it's a lot of like um his worry and his concern when he first told me about it was whatever it is is saying Megan. Obviously, that is not Megan on the EVP. So is it just something trying to get their attention by saying that name? Is it something, you know, I and, and there there are a million different things. And again, the guys got really shaken up about it. Even when I was talking to them last night, like you can see it in their faces. Like they were shaken. Um, and I don't blame them. And 
they're not like